Welcome to rounds four, five, and six of the GT Cup Championship 2014. We're here at Brands Hatch, an iconic circuit, which drivers seem to respond really well to. And as you can see, the sun really is beating down on us. It is a fantastic day, great conditions, which mean great temperatures to, for the track, but of course this might cause problems for the drivers in their cockpits. Could affect concentration, but we shall see. I'll hand you over to Richard. The racing is, is exceptionally hard. I've been away from GT Cup for a number of years. Um, I never remember it being easy, but I don't remember it being quite this hard. Maybe it's an age thing. So you're pleased with your performance today? Yeah, very pleased. Yeah, I mean, you know, you always come to win, don't you? That's why you go racing. So we got pole position and we got the win, so that was all good. Did you find it a challenge at any point, or was it just a smooth run for you? Oh, no, it's always a challenge. It might look smooth on the TV or when you're spectating in the circuit, but in the car is always really, really busy. And, and as I said earlier, coping with the heat in the back markers is, is always a challenge. So that was the first race of the weekend. Up next, we have the first of two sprint races. And with Derek Johnston setting the fastest lap, that qualifies him automatically for pole position. Don't go anywhere. Join us after the break. First in class, congratulations. How do you feel? Wonderful, wonderful. My first first ever in all the racing. You know, my first first, so first at the top step of the podium. Ecstatic. So fantastic. Absolutely shattered. I bet you look so hot and I can feel the heat from the engine and the tyres. How was that for you, the heat today? The heat, the heat was difficult when you got out there, even before we pulled down to the grid. Sitting in the car, it was like a Turkish bath. Um, and absolutely terrifying going out and thinking, I've got sweat in my eyeballs and I'm gonna, I've got to drive for 20 minutes in this. But once it gets going, you forget all about that and just crack on. What a lovely thought, the sweat on the eyeballs. Brilliant. <laughs> Were there any tricky moments for you out there today? Uh, yeah, it's a few tricky moments. Uh, a couple of times I've been a little bit hard on the acceleration. The back end got a little bit hairy. Um, it was hard racing, uh, both with Jeff Wyatt, last year's champion, um, and with the Genetas. They're fast, um, so hard, tough racing with both of those. So, David, you won your class in the first of the sprint races today. Well done. How did that feel? Uh, very hot, actually. Yeah, it was a good, good race. It was uh, well defended by some of the guys, well driven by most of them, but very, very hot. But uh, delighted to come out on top. How do you prepare for the heat? Because, obviously, in this country, it's, it's not often like it is today, but today is extremely hot. It is. It's, it's very unusual to get weather like this, so uh, there's not a huge amount of preparation other than just trying to keep yourself cool before you get in the car. But as soon as the engine starts, you close the door, very quickly heats up, you just have to put up with it. And we've still got the last race of the day to go. How are you feeling about that one? What's your plan? Uh, the plan is to do exactly what I did in the uh, previous lap, so uh, in the previous race. Came out first, which was uh, good, so try and keep my nose out of trouble and uh, bring it home, hopefully. Well, what are you taking away personally from this weekend? Um, championship points, that's what I was after, yeah, we're running for, uh, to win the overall class championship, hopefully, so I've had a fourth and I've had a first today as well, so last race to come, fingers crossed, I can see a, another podium if I'm lucky. So this weekend has been dominated by Derek Johnston in his BMW Z4, and with the last race coming up, will he be able to make it a hat-trick of wins? Well, let's find out after the break. Last race of the day, let's have a quick catch up with David Wally, who I think will appreciate a little bit of breeze into his car as well. Hi oh, David, let's get some air in there. How are you feeling? Yeah, very warm. Looking forward to the race, but it's, uh, it's certainly heating up inside. So, here. so first in the GTA class for the last race of the weekend, congratulations, how does it feel? Superb, that was a really tough race, the uh, rainwater harvesting uh, Lotus of Aura was, uh, it's been really fast all weekend, uh, just haven't maybe had quite the luck, we had some bad luck with a few technical issues, but uh, yeah, I was good to go from the back of the grid and uh, got a good start, big contact with the Sin car, uh, which knocked the wheel, looks like we've broken a wheel, so my steering was out from the first lap, which made left-handers just really hard. But I managed to get through, gap everybody, and just kind of uh, stroke it home for the uh, for the remaining laps, just to maintain the gap for the win for the team. Doing really well. So you've done it for the second time today, and on the last race of the weekend. How does that feel? Yeah, it feels fantastic. It's a really good day, actually. Very hot for everybody, but uh, great day, and you can't complain if you get too first. So delighted with that. Amazing, and what an amazing weekend, weather-wise, atmosphere. Well done to you. Did you find any difficulties out on that race? It was, uh, it was getting pretty hot and the, the tyres have already done one race so they're getting a little bit tired but great crowds and some fantastic racing in other, some of the other races so uh, a really good day. So we caught up with you earlier on, congratulations, your second win, you've done it. What was your plan this time round? 
Um, well, I started in second on the grid for uh, this race due to Dan Stringfeld who managed to put in a quicker lap than me in the first race. We qualified ahead. So my race plan was just try and get ahead of him within early in the first few quarters. And I managed that. I got a car between me and him and therefore I managed to pull away, which was excellent. It was superb for me. It was a really tight race to watch. There were a few kind of tight patches on some of the bends. Were you caught up in any of those? Oh yeah, early on, uh, Brands Hatch GP, I've noticed there's very few places to actually overtake. So the first few laps before everybody gets spread out in their battles, it's so tight, you can't dive down, you can't go around anybody, so it's very difficult. Well, once again, massive well done to you. It's been a great weekend, so thank you, and uh, see you at the next one. Thank you. Ryan, you guys have had a great weekend. Well done to you. How does it feel? Feels really good. I mean, uh, I couldn't have asked for a better team. Triple Eight have done a fantastic job with the car, and uh, I couldn't have asked for a better teammate. Derek was fantastic all weekend both in the endurance race and this morning, setting fastest lap, giving me pole. Yeah, we couldn't have asked for a much better weekend. So you're ecstatic right now, and it's been a great atmosphere and weekend, hasn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's my first uh, first ever race uh, in GT Cup, and I've loved it. It's uh, it's a really, really good championship. I mean, uh, it's very competitive. I mean, the, that top GTO class is, is so close, and I mean, I can, as I can see, all the other classes are as close so yes yeah, really good championship and really enjoyed it so that's the end of another great weekend racing for the gt cup brands hatch never disappoints and with the weather being amazing for spectators of course not so amazing maybe for the drivers in their cars next time we're at the home of british motorsport silverstone so join us there